just sent you a photograph of one of the Christmas dinners that I had, uh, I should say, uh, Christmas uh, lunches that I had at Versailles with my children and some of their playmates. Yes, I'm looking at it right now, Your Majesty. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. If I understand correctly, you had also adopted some children, correct? I mean, you had four biological children. Sophie obviously didn't make it past her first birthday. Um, you had so three biological children, and then you had about six adopted children. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. My husband... Louis, he really had a soft heart for children, you know, and of course I too love children. But Louis particularly, he just wanted to, you know, help children. And so we always had um, adopted children with our own. And there were six of them, some of them lived with us and some not so much. I mean, we provided sort of more financial assistance than sort of a lot, you know, they didn't lodge with us, but we definitely, you know, tried to help as many children as we could. And at the Christmas time at Versailles, I would have all the children, um, all my children and their playmates and, you know, my children, my biological children and my adopted children, as well as some of their playmates. For, for this annual lunch. But, you know, I must make it very clear that Christmas, you know, then was very different. I mean, we we were not sort of um, <laughs> very extravagant. I mean, I know this probably looks very extravagant, but we didn't give gifts and, and, and you know, spend a lot of money on, 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 on gifts and things like that. I mean, Christmas was very much a time where we tried to help those who were poor and who didn't have much by giving them some money, giving them some gifts, you know, and helping children. So, is that right? Um, so, what was your routine really like at Christmas time at Versailles back in the eighteenth century? And um, yeah, the 18th century, pretty much, that's when you, you existed, when, um, as queen, anyway. <laughs> um, what was your routine like? I mean, as you can see today, that it's very commercialized and lots of gifts and expensive, like a lot of, we spend a lot of money at Christmas time. And, um, you know, so it, was it sort of different at that time? It was very, very different. The king spent a lot of time, I mean, most of Christmas, he was at church, you know, and sometimes we went along, my, myself and the children, but we did not attend as many masses as he did. Like, for example, the children didn't go to the high mass at midnight. You know, he, my husband tried to do two to three midnight masses <laughs> um, at that time, which was, it was just a lot, you know, and you know, so we, we didn't, we didn't give gaps at, at that time. And, you know, throughout the year, the children would receive presents, you know, for their birthdays and things like that. But at Christmas time, then, unlike now, it was really more about praying and it was about helping the poor. Um, it was about, you know, spending time, more, even more time with family it was, you know, the, the biggest part was the Christmas lunch. And mm, what would you typically serve at a Christmas lunch with all these kids? Oh, I don't know. Lots of different things. Um, we had a huge kitchen, obviously, and many, many people in the kitchen preparing these beautiful meals for the children. Um, you know, we had a lot of things like tartiflette and, um, 
just a lot of potatoes. You know, we, they love the children typically at that time. They love potatoes, lamb. We served a lot of lamb, and um, just I don't I don't know. I mean, a lot of sausages and different things like that. You know, um, and then of course there was wonderful desserts. Um, of cream and cakes and, and things like that and um so that was really the highlight of of our christmas was was this lunch and of course after that there were dinners and so on but the children were not necessarily present at at those dinners so that was more for adults and our guests with the king and i and um you know again a lot was focused on helping the poor, visiting people, trying to heal people. People really believed that my husband and I had the power to heal them of all kinds of illnesses. And of course, that wasn't true, but they were convinced that a touch from the king and queen could, could help them to could heal their illnesses, even at that point. And so my husband would go around, you know, I would go with him, of course, and, and try to heal people, help them, make them feel better, give money to some people, and, to, you know, distribute some of the profits to workers and to, you know, some people in the community as well. And um, what else did we do at Christmas? Yeah, a lot of praying, really, a lot of praying, a lot of Christmas songs, um, a lot of music, and just time with the family. It was probably a little bit boring compared to Christmases today because it was not, you know, we had Christmas trees, obviously, and beautiful, beautiful Christmas trees. But we didn't have them filled with presents, you know, on their knees and things like that. And I think, you know, it was very normal. So the children didn't feel like they were missing anything. Are you sure they didn't feel like they were missing anything? Yes, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it was just a very different time and uh, the, the values were completely different. And, um, you know, we we really focused more on, you know, the royal family, just getting out to, to the people, helping people, healing people, giving to people, giving back to people. And that's what our Christmases were all about at Versailles at the time. So, yeah. Let's see what's going on this year at, uh, at Christmas at Versailles, because it sounds almost to me that um, the Christmases at, um, at Versailles in the old days was really very, very different from... Oops. At uh, some different, because here we have, like in 2023, we have something called the uh, the parkour du roi. So it's kind of like, did your husband and you walk through these um, halls, like the, the halls of mirrors and things like that, to entertain the members of the court or anything like that? It's so adorable. Oh, I love that. No, we never had any such um, parkour during my time at Versailles. I mean, Christmas was almost a little bit um, solemn, more than celebratory, if you will, at that time. It's very strange to, to imagine it, but... Um, um, it, um, it really wasn't, um, the way we did it. Although now that I'm looking at those pictures, I kind of wish we had. <laughs> I think the children would have really loved that. <laughs>